Wake up, Kirby! There's no time for napping! We've gotta go to Melody Town! What's up, everybody? Nintendo OP, back with some more Kirby's Epic Yarn! And yeah, we're gonna do my favorite level of the game, Melody Town. Why do I like this level so much? Because of that! I am one of those people who cannot walk past a piano without going... I love it. Everything in this level is musical. Well, except for that guy's head. This guy's head really should play music, though. It should play a song that goes, Get off my head, Kirby, or I will kill you! Actually, that's a horrible song. Maybe it shouldn't play that. Maybe that's why the game designers decided to make that guy's head the one thing in the level that's not musical at all. Alright, so we're gonna go hop across those drums and shrink ourselves into a piece of thread so we can go through this trumpet. And look, Kirby popped out on a piece of sheet music. Ah, uh, look at Kirby's expression when he gets the right note. He's so happy! Sheet music is the one reason that I can never learn how to play music, just because it terrifies me so. How about you guys out there? Does anybody out there like play musical instruments? I'm sure there's at least some people out there who like play trumpet or piano or guitar. Whatever you guys play, let me know. Um, because that's one thing that I would love to be able to do is say, Yeah, I play music. I just don't want to put in the time and effort to actually learn. Alright, so here's our first treasure, toy piano. This piano may look like a toy, but it really has a solid tune. Aw, oh, it's Justin Bieber's first piano. It's the song that he used to write, Baby! Okay, I'm gonna stop right there. Before any other viewers, like, leave. They're like, alright, that's it. We gave you a chance, Nintendo LP. Then you started singing Bieber. I'm gonna have, like, 10,000 thumbs down. Everybody's just gonna alert all their friends. This guy sang Bieber for half a second. Thumbs down and flag him or whatever. Alright, so we're gonna go past this guy's head with the spear. We're gonna leave him be, I guess. So we can swing on the harps, the beautiful harp music. Aw. I just love it, so. Alright, so I love swinging and I love going. Da -da -da -da. So this is like my favorite thing. This is like the apex of video game design for me. They could just make a whole level of nothing but that, and I would never tire of it. I'm sure you guys at home would tire of it, though. Here's our second treasure. This tree plays a melody when you shake it. Just try not to overdo it, however. Yeah, two shakes, that's all you get. Any more than that, and you're playing with yourself. Alright, so let's hop back through here, because oh, I missed! That's no fun. Now I gotta swing back all through again. But it gives me an excuse to play the harp one more time. Yeah, I missed that jump on purpose. So we're gonna go up here and get sucked inside. Is this like a French horn? I don't know. I am terrible with knowing like what musical instruments are, so you guys feel free to correct me in the comments and say, that's not a French horn, it's a bassoon or a tuba or something like that. I don't I really don't know. So it gets a little bit more tricky as we go through, but nothing really too terrible. And we get a bonus star for all our hard work. Yay! And look, a piano! Na -na 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 -na. I can't resist. Alright, so what you basically want to do is just let all the musical notes like go. Don't like try to get them as soon as they appear, because the way it works is they're going to go like to where you're headed next. So don't worry about stopping to collect them as they appear, with the exception of that last set of musical notes. For some reason, they put those way off the beaten path, so you kind of got to backtrack to get them. Sometimes they just like to make my life miserable. I guess it's kind of a good thing, though, because it gives me an excuse to, like, go back and play the piano one more time. Alright, so we get some more notes here. Don't you shoot your cannon at me. I will grab you and lasso you into a bass drum. Alright, what we have to do here is pull this, and actually we pull it when this thing's going down, so we can use this drum to jump up here. Jump up here. Uh, Alright, third time's a charm, right? Alright, let's not fail a third time. Alright, so we go up there and we get the third and final treasure. Yeah, if it was just beads, I wouldn't have bothered. Melody Town, the new music that plays in Melody Town. I have to say, though, for the level that's all about music, this is the song you picked. Not that it's, like, the worst song ever, but there's, like, a lot better music in this game. So, I don't know, for Melody Town, why couldn't they have picked a song that actually rocked? But, I don't know, this one's not that bad, I guess. I mean, it's not the worst, but I'd like to see Melody Town have something a little better. Maybe something with a better melody. Dun -dun -dun. Okay, so we're gonna play my favorite instrument in the level, the harp. Wait, piano's my favorite, the harp's my second favorite. The drums, they're okay. They get third place. Is there any other? But yeah, there's those horns, but they don't really count. And speaking of things that don't count, here's one of those little horn thing to do. What is this, a trombone? I don't know. We're gonna go through it anyway, whatever it is. Alright, Kirby, let's go. Oh, it's getting a little bit faster. It's getting lots of different colors, but no worries. We're gonna get them all and get the bonus star. Da -da -da -da. Yay, we get to run across the piano again. Wow, an extra big piano. It's one of those pianos with like 97 keys. And just like that, Melody Town, my favorite level! It's no more. Aw, I wanted to play some more. 
Alright, so let's get up here. Can we get the five stars? No, we way missed the five stars. Hey, Prince Fluff, nice to see you again. Now that all the work is done, just come to gloat and say, Yeah, I helped. It's shake and bake, and I helped. Alright, so we got a patch there. Let's see how many beads we ended up finishing with. 49 million. No, 2300. And we get all three treasures yet again. We're trying to take Michael Phelps' gold medal title from him. We get the air pump patch. Pump, pump it up. Yeah, because that's how we roll. We like to inflate things way bigger than they are, including my ego now. All right, so we're going to throw this patch. Oh, that one had some distance to it. All right, so let's pump, pump, pump it up. It's growing. It's, wait, that doesn't look good. Why are we doing this? It's going up by that evil looking door. That can only mean one thing. It's this world's boss, and his name is Squashini. It sounds like something on an infomercial. Now, for only 1995, you can have your very own Squashini. It does everything. It slices, it dices, it cleans what spills. It even takes care of your kids. It'll walk your dog for you. Buy it! Come on, buy it now! We'll give it to you free, and if you order in the next 10 minutes, we'll double your order. Just play processing and handling. Oh, how much is that? 10 million dollars! That's how they get you, too. They like sell you something good that's like really cheap and then you're like, oh, I gotta buy it. And then how much does shipping cost? Oh, just an arm and a leg in your firstborn. Alright, so this is the part of the game that kind of reminds me of Paper Mario. We have these Waddle Dees in the audience. We're up on stage and, oh, we're playing Let's Wheel. Remember, Kirby, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. We're gonna meet Katy Perry. Oh, no. That can't be Katy Perry. Its head's too small. I'm just kidding. I love Katy Perry! I won't sing any of her songs. I'll spare you guys my horrible singing voice. Okay, this roulette wheel of sorts is gonna determine what attack this guy is gonna do on us. So it's three hats. That means he's gonna throw three hats at us. It's kinda like one of those games of three card money. Where's Squashini? Where is he? Pick the middle card. Find the red lady. Find the red lady. Oh, where could he be? I tend to pick the one on the left and have pretty good success. So let's see if my... Hey, what do you know? Alright, if Squashini isn't there, um, like a spiked ball or some fire is going to pop out at you, but if he is there, then you get a free shot on him and you get a chance to earn an extra 500 beads, so if you can get lucky, very good. Alright, so here's his next attack. He's going to kind of wrap you up and... Wait, I don't want to be touched! Oh, he's touching me in inappropriate places! Okay, so he kind of wraps you up and you got to press the 1 or the 2 button, or you can press both together to get out of there. Once you're free, go ahead and ring the heck out of this bell as much as you can. And then you gotta go ahead and get all the beads that you can before the bomb explodes. Because when it explodes, all the beads disappear. I'm gonna go and get that last one? Yeah. Okay, so just stay on either side of the screen when it's about to blow up and you won't get any damage to you. We haven't taken any damage at all from this boss. He's not that difficult. Alright, so here's his next move that he's gonna do. He's gonna throw poker cards at us because apparently we like playing Texas Hold'em. Alright, so if we just stay on the edge of the screen, nothing will attack us. Throw the card back at him, then throw him. Very easy to do. And let's see. Alright, so we've already got enough beads that we need for like the super uber metal requirement for this level. And he's gonna tie us up again. No, I hate why do they have to close the curtain? It makes me feel like he's doing something bad to Kirby. Like, no! Wait, leave me go! No, don't touch there! Okay. Alright, so we're gonna escape once more. Come on, Kirby. Get free! I like when Kirby's like just about free. He does this like Hulk thing. He's like, I am free! Alright, so that's probably as many beads as I'm gonna be able to get. Let's see, can I get them all? I don't know why I'm not turning into Car Kirby. I'm trying to turn into Car Kirby. I just. Uh, I was tempted to get that last bead. I was like, should I risk it? No, you shouldn't risk it. We almost got 4,000 beads. We don't need any more. If you guys get more beads than me, by all means, send a video response say, Look, I got 5,000 beads! I'm awesomer than you! Alright, so here's his third and final attack. He's gonna do a pirate flag. He's like, Look, nothing up my sleeve. But wait, there's a bomb! So what we have to do to finally finish Squashini off is catch said bomb and throw it back at him. We've kinda done this with every boss. And then once he's down, pick up his tab and throw him too, just for good measure. And we finish the level. Oh, Prince Fluff, nice of you to join us. You couldn't have, like, come, like, three minutes earlier while we were fighting this guy? And then you have the nerve to jump on my head when I'm an umbrella. Thanks a lot, Prince Fluff. Thanks a freaking lot. All right, so Squashini is done. Yet another boss goes down in our black book. Our little black book of bosses that we beat up and who never called us back the next day. Oh, it's so sad.
All right, we're about to have a cutscene. Mr. Narrator, take it away. We did it. We got the magic yarn. The magic yarn shimmered and spiraled and swirled high into the sky. Wait a minute. They did like the same cutscene last time. They're just recycling old clips. Rip off. Jeez, I thought this game was more high budget than that. So that's our new world that we're going to be going to, Waterland. The yarn weaved its way into the fabric of the kingdom and stitched two pieces of patch land together. Kirby and Fluff came upon a cake the size of a mountain. It was breathtaking. Kirby tried to contain himself, but failed. He dove right in and started gobbling up the cake. I declare a cake-eating duel. And with that, Prince Fluff jumped into the cake as well. The two ate and ate and ate, but they didn't balance their eating very well. Whoa! And before they could get down, the cake collapsed with them inside it. Oh, I can't eat another bite. Prince Fluff moaned as he rubbed his cake-filled belly. But then, Kirby appeared with a huge cherry in his mouth. Whoop! Kirby won the contest. And a looming tummy ache as well. Wrong! Kirby doesn't get tummy aches. Jeez, where'd they find this announcer guy? Does he know anything about Kirby? Kirby doesn't get stomach aches because everything that he sucks up, like, goes into an alternate dimension or something. Alright, so let's reveal our new world, even though I already said what it was. It's Waterland, but we're not going there yet because there's still two more places to go here in Treatland. And we don't want to just skip ahead. No, we want to do these levels in order. Alright, so let's throw this and make our birthday cake even bigger. Let's add another layer. Oh, and let's add some Hershey Kisses and ice cream cones. Yeah, I'm liking that. Alright, what's this world of ours called? Coco Station? Wait, station. That sounds like trains. This better not be a train level. Oh, no. Alright, so next time on Kirby's Epic Yarn, we're going to be going to Coco Station. Unless it has anything to do with trains. And then I'm not doing it! See you guys next time.